Dallas Cowboys owner, general manager, Jerry Jones. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, guys. Good to be on with you. Now, we have a pressing question. How many people at the Star are dressed in Halloween costumes today? Because we've already seen a bunch up here yeah. at our office. Uh -huh. Do you have people dressed up in Halloween costumes at the Star? Do you know the way I come in? Uh, I don't see a lot of our folks as I come in. And uh, I come up to a parking garage, and so uh, I really haven't seen that many. The ones I've seen, I think it's 50-50. Okay. And you're not dressed up then at the moment? We've got a couple of these guys out here that look like it's Halloween every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the game the game is Sunday night, Jerry. Halloween is Sunday as well. I've been trying to cancel Halloween, but my daughter keeps saying, no, it's not canceled. I keep trying to push it to Saturday. What do you suggest for those that want to take in the game and trick-or-treat at the same time? How do they do this? Well, I think you uh, uh, breeze out between snaps and uh, get you a trick, a treat, and then uh, come on back in. Uh, uh, but really, I'd do both. I think it's possible. <laughs> the, other, the other thing we suggested to folks is walk around with their earbuds on 105.3 of the fan and listen to, listen the, game to the game yeah. while they walk I around like with that. their kids. Yeah. All right. I like that, and um, I like that a lot. And then you could always, if, they, uh, if you took your mask off, they might let you come in and see the last play if you were over there at the... Uh, next door neighbors, but uh, generally I'd try to do both, but I wouldn't rob those kids of getting a chance to do some Halloween. Now, love some that answer. Hours, some, <laughs> some of my finest hours were tricking my mother and dad's and people's neighbors. What's your favorite candy to take out of your kid's Halloween basket? Oh, I like, uh, I heard a discussion the other day. I like that candy corn. I heard somebody talking about candy corn or that stuff but uh, for some reason that I, when i taste that i think of halloween now you mentioned maybe somebody you go trick-or-treating at their house they would let you pop in watch the last play of the game let's say the cowboys are on offense for the last play of the game who do you think would be the quarterback for the team in that play well you went a long way out of your way i'd like to think that <laughs> sort of to <laughs> to set that up, but, uh, uh, which is good. But uh, uh, I'd like to think Dak can go, and, and uh, we'll think that. We's, uh, uh, we'll see how things work at practice, but uh, uh, things are looking uh, – I'd say things are looking good right now about Dak. Obviously, you have a lot of connections in the NFL, Jerry, and, and that's a positive sign from you. It's, it's from us and from the people listening right now, especially the ones that like to gamble. Saw yesterday the Cowboys a two-and-a-half favorite to now uh, the Cowboys a two-and-a-half point underdog. And we're I'm assuming Vegas is moving a, sp a spread five points based off of Dak probably won't play. So you're saying if you're a Cowboys fan and you like the Cowboys, bet on the Cowboys because you think Dak's going to play? Well... Um, I'm, I'm not so sure how much of it's want to on my part or how much of it is factual. Uh, we really will need to see come Sunday, and that's a few days away, as you know. We'll have to take a good look at it at that time, but he's prepared to play, and he'll be prepared to play, and uh, he's doing really well. Uh, you get into, well, is he doing well enough to go out there and try it and see how it goes? Probably. Jerry, yesterday he said, "I it's not totally up to me." He said, "If it was totally up to me, I'd, I'm 100 percent playing." And I'm just kind of I'm kind of curious on a how much say does Dak Prescott have on whether or not he goes out there? And and if he said no, I'm going out there to play, would anybody stop him? Well, at the end of the day, uh, I think there's two questions here. Yeah, uh, would would uh, he? There is no question that he's going to be the most pro uh, person on the planet to play. I think we understand that the competitiveness aspect of that thing. For sure. Uh, uh, and uh, I think he feels like that he, if need be, probably could manage. But I'm getting in his head here now, and, and I don't want to do that. But, uh, uh, you know, some might say, well, uh, uh, that that couldn't manage that. He wouldn't be a little conservative with his use of uh, that leg. Uh, but 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 uh, I, I I don't know about that. I think he's uh, uh, aware of what's at stake here and what's the future 
on the immediate future is at stake. So uh, I think his clocks would go off in competitive situation. That's just an opinion. Uh, he's looking to the trainers. He's looking to uh, them to uh, give him some real good advice. Uh, we won't do too much uh, uh, technically about this. In other words, if you uh, shot an MRI or something like that, right. would that make any difference? And the answer is no. Uh, this will be more a feel for how it's feeling when he uh, works it. It sounds like Lyle Collins is going to be the backup guard tackle from what we hear from Mike McCarthy. Is that uh, your sense of what Lyle will be on Sunday night? Well, I I, I don't want to go uh, – uh, specific. I, I really do think that's a place for Mike and his judgment there and see how uh, Lyle and see what they're doing. I'm talking Minnesota. So um, uh, uh, what I do like is that uh, I've always known that uh, uh, the people that knew Lyle the best really knew his game the best. I thought he was as good or better guard than he was a tackle. And so uh, uh, if we do have that kind of flex with him and if Steele's play has given us an opportunity to get that position flex out of Lyle, he becomes that much more valuable, Lyle. Jerry, the, the stadium, Mike McCarthy was talking about how that stadium is loud and how he just, he's like, look, I think it got louder uh, than the Metrodome was. What, what's been your experience with the, with the noise level up, up there in Minnesota? Well, we haven't played there much, of course, and it, uh, because it's new, but uh, it is loud. And, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I think as long as you uh, expect it to prepare for it, and uh, we do, uh, then you can uh, uh, mitigate just how loud it can be. But uh, I don't want to understate it. Those loud stadiums, Seattle, uh, they can impact your execution. When you when we were all talking about last night's Thursday night football game, do you look at games like that with a different eye since the Cowboys, at least right now, appear to be right in the mix as one of the teams of the, the class of the NFC? Yeah, I, uh, I have uh, uh, afforded myself the luxury of looking at them and saying, who would you rather play? Uh, who would be there, but I know they've got the same issues that we have. It's got a long way to go. And uh, the, the things that can come up that mitigate how well they're playing injuries specifically, then uh, you you really don't spend a lot of time thinking about, uh, boy, I hope this team wins or that team wins as far as the playoff. It's real early to start that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm really just looking at uh, uh, what they do good and what they don't do good, and if we could uh, learn anything by some of the things that a Green Bay or some of the things that Arizona's doing. I will say this. Boy, they've done a hell of a job out there at Arizona. And uh, Murray, we're all proud of from this area, but uh, uh, they've really maximized his talent. And my hat's off to them uh, all, all the time. In coaching, that's a big talk. I maximize the talent, but doing it is a different thing. And they're doing it, so they're doing a good job in Arizona. Jerry, you traded for Will Greer at the end of training camp, and it sounds like Cooper Rush is still the backup quarterback. What has Cooper Rush been able to do in practice to hold off Will Greer from being the backup quarterback? Oh, I think he's just outstanding at executing our offense. Uh, He really makes outstanding decisions uh, and he uh, gives us the ability pure ability to maximize our supporting cast around him we don't have to compromise anything whether it be receivers running backs or tight ends uh, and we've got the full playbook with him that's a big deal and sometimes you uh, uh, look at uh, a temporary hopefully backup situation and then you have to pare down what you can do with your offense. That's not the case with Rush. And so uh, he's, he's turned into a valuable backup. And our team, not just the coaches but the players, have real confidence in his ability to maximize the talent we have on offense. So uh, we've, we've, uh, he's had a good uh, mental uh, ex- going over relative to, well, would we be better off with some other solution to Dak not being out there? And the answer is no, unanimously, whether it be the players, the coaches, Dak, 
everybody thinks I got a lot of confidence in Cooper. Uh, Jerry Jones joined us on the KNC Masterpiece on 105.3 The Fan, your home of the Dallas Cowboys. And Jerry, I know there's a disgruntled uh, pass rusher, uh, and I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but I know the names of the Cardinals have been brought up because they lost J.J. Watt of trying to trade for this guy. Is there any interest in two different things? One, making sure the Cardinals don't get that guy, but also you know, beefing up your pass rush a little bit or adding a player before trade deadline here this year? Well, you're being you're being uh, uh, cautious uh, relative to tampering, and that's good. Yep. You're being so cautious. I don't know who in the hell you're referring to. <laughs> but, uh, but the point is, the point is that's okay. That's okay because I can answer the question. We are really happy with our rush and our players, and we're happy with what's on the way with Lawrence as example Armstrong and we're happy with the young guys that are on the way and so uh, it's highly unlikely that we would add to the pressure when you mentioned Lawrence do y'all have an idea on when we might see him back on the field uh, yes but uh, that's just that and uh, that won't help our conversation out because it swings two or three games but uh, he's progressing well and um, I feel good we'll have him. And there's no question where we are right now. We'll have him at a critical juncture of our season. And that will be as we get in, in the lap back half of the schedule or the back third of the schedule and then into the playoffs. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, real excited about the kind of contribution and the lift that he gives us as we go forward. Now, I believe the statute of limitations has passed, and we wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't follow up and ask, can you tell us about some of those tricks on Halloween <laughs> that you uh, were involved in? <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I, I don't know why, but eggs uh, have, it sounds like Easter, but it's not, because uh, throwing eggs was always a, a favorite of mine. And I got in a lot of trouble. I lived early. I lived on a very busy highway. And it was the artery from uh, the Little Rock, Arkansas area to Memphis. And it was the main main highway, not a freeway, but a highway. And, of course, cars were blazing by, and I lived right on that. Well, I was raised in a grocery store. And so Halloween seemed like the best time to do it. But I'd take eggs and tomatoes and stand on the blind side of that store and throw those at cars going by. That was my best Halloween trick. I always I always have problems <laughs> throwing eggs, Jerry, because they'd explode in my hand before I got it out of my hand. I, did you, that ever happen to you or that you always delivered? You have to have a slow hand okay. with an easy touch, and then you put the power to it. Amazing. I love that answer so much, Jerry. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Obviously, uh, I mean, you've got our number. If anything else comes up about Dak, feel free to call us at any point. Got it, guys. Enjoyed you.